Memorial Day is a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by our brave servicemen and women and advice us to honor and remember those who gave their lives for our freedom. As we gather with loved ones, let's reflect on their legacy and express our gratitude for their ultimate sacrifice this Memorial Day. We're blessed once again to have our staff poet, Tammy Spears, on with us to honor Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to you, Tammy. Happy Memorial Day to you, too, Rick. It's glad, I'm glad to speak with you again. Wonderful. Tammy has been with us anytime we have any special occasion, or for most of special occasions, and we love to have her on because she loves uh, to do some wonderful poems here, and she's got a couple of books to talk about in just a second here. But let's talk about your first poem. Tammy, what's the very first poem we're going to feature? Well, let's uh, do Memorial Day because that's what this is all about. All right, so very let's good. Let's do that dedication to Memorial Day. Okay, go ahead. Memorial Day is a special day that comes once a year to remember our loved ones that we hold dear, reflecting on the memories we hold deep in our hearts from the day they were with, here with us until the day they departed. Memorial Day is a day to remember those we love, keeping their memories alive in our hearts. That is where the healing starts. Very good. Very good, Tammy, as always. Now, is this from your first book, Flutter of an Eye, or is this from Fluttering On? Which, uh, which book is this one from? Actually, all three of these poems are going to be in the new book, Fluttering oh, awesome, On, which is awesome. right now in process of being published, yes. Awesome, very good. Do you have a idea when that might be published? Um, working on it now, I'm in the editing process, going through and editing all of the poems. They're formatted in the book already, and as you know, I've already posted out there what the cover looks like, which is very beautiful, and oh, I'm going to be is, posting yes. the, the back cover as well, which explains a lot of things and actually has uh, details on there, the bio, and then the... Uh, poem called poetry as well and um that is going to be they wanted to have it ready in may but it's going to be on my part that it'll probably be more like the beginning of june because it does take time and i have actually double actually over double of what i had in the first book this is going to have contain 85 poems in this new book fluttering on so i'm very excited about it could you explain the premise of how you came up with the idea of your very first book Absolutely. This was all due to my mother's passing. Um, God bless her soul. Um, love her and miss her. We all do. And she was the rock of the family. And Flutter of an Eye was uh, written and published in her memory. And Fluttering On is also pertains to the story. Flutter of an Eye is fluttering on, meaning she is fluttering on within us, continues to, as we are fluttering on without her. Talks about the... the um, how we're carrying on without her, the struggles and everything else that pertain to her passing. Like I said, she was the rock of the family. So it's it's been it's been a struggle, but she's been there all along uh, as our shining light, uh, carrying us through everything that we've uh, we've uh, dealt with since she's passed. Very good. So. It's a wonderful way to honor your mother, as far as that goes. How did your other yes. family members feel about uh, all this? Are they happy about uh, what's going on? Oh, absolutely. And actually, there's going to be a lot of special touches in this book as well. There's going to be names in there. I'm going to uh, have a poem titled uh, My Kiddos, which I was uh, blessed to be a mom to my nieces and nephews and um, great nieces and nephews because I wasn't able to have any children myself. My husband and I weren't. So they're actually all of our kiddos. So their names are going to be in the book. And then as far as the military side of things, I had a lot of family members that were in the military, and I'm going to be honoring them um, uh, with the poems that I have here, Freedom Flies High, Memorial Day, and uh, Stars and Stripes. So their names are going to be published as well, and uh, I look forward to that. Awesome. So, yeah, they're excited about this book as well. <laughs> Very good. I'm excited to, to get a copy, too. Can you share with us another Memorial Day poem? I sure will. Freedom Flies High. The colors of the red, white, and blue ripple in the wind. The stars and stripes, we salute them. Freedom flies high while the anthem plays, many a sacrifice that they gave, for the land of liberty the price they paid. Proudly serving by land, sea, or air, protecting their country, we remember when freedom flies high because of them. The flag represents the red, white, and blue for those who serve bravely, defending God's country, giving their all for me and for you. Freedom flies high, and we thank you, and you're one of those we thank for it. <laughs> Thank you so very much. That is just so wonderful. Gosh, it, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to all the military and those we also lost along the way. Now, when we, when we last, last spoke, you were working on uh, Flutter of an Eye being an audiobook. How are we coming on that? 
That is in the final stages as well. I did reach out to him recently, and we're in the final process of that. So um, I would just say to all of the listeners to Google the name of the book and the audio book or my name, and that will be coming in the next week or two as well. So oh, everything awesome. Kind of a, lot, a lot of important news together. happening. Yeah. That is, that's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, I was, yeah, that process took a little longer. I, I didn't, this is my first audio book, and I wasn't aware that it, it's a timely, timely thing. So I was, uh, you know, excited and uh, patiently waiting. And uh, it, it, it does take time to do an audio book, and I wasn't aware of that. So Awesome. Very good. Very good. Now, Flutter of an Eye has been available at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Walmart, Etsy, iUniverse, and uh, any other places we should know uh, as far as social. I think you're on. Instagram, right? I am on Instagram as well. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, also on a networking site for businesses called Alignable. So I do a lot on that as well. And actually became the, again, second year in a row, the uh, 2024 Business Person of the Year in hey! our area. So I was that in 2023 and now 2024 as well. Awesome. <laughs> that is amazing. Way to go, Tammy. Something to, a little, yeah. um, little feather in the cap right there. Are there any family members you'd like to honor this Memorial Day? Any, any of those that uh, served and, and we lost along the way? Oh, there's so many. Um, my dad, he's just so proud. He was a reservist um, in the Marines. My uncle, who is no longer with us, and he was also my godfather, um, he was in the Navy. All of his grandsons are in the Navy right now serving. Um, and um, John's grandfather actually was in the Army. My grandpa, um, from my mom's side, he was in the Navy as well. Um, also, my step-grandfather from my mom's side, he was in the Army. My uncle, Mike, who is still living as well, um, he was in the Army. Um, John's great-uncles were actually in the service, Air Force, and um, Navy, or not Navy, uh, Army as well. So, so many of them. I hope I remembered all of them, but their their names are going to be in the book. And I actually had a great-uncle, which who my dad is named after. My dad is still alive. Um, Gerald George Granaki, I do have to put a plug to him. He was KIA, and he is actually buried in Japan. So um, that was my grandpa's brother. So, yeah. Awesome. I Very have a good. lot of people to uh, to honor and that are living and uh, deceased as well. So. Very good. Very good, Tammy. Very good. We'll keep them in our thoughts and prayers. And, of course, the families associated Definitely. with that in our thoughts and prayers, too. we got one more final poem. Tammy, would you give that to us as we kind of close up this episode of the Memorial Day episode of the Someone You Should Know podcast? Absolutely. Stars and stripes. The stars and stripes that represent the flag various branches of service protecting us across the land, fighting for our country, doing the best that they can. The stars and stripes represent freedom and those who stand tall, serving proudly protecting our country, giving it their all. Stand, salute, hand across heart when the anthem plays. The stars and stripes of the red, white, and blue, we are great for all that you do, and we salute you. Well done, Tammy. Once again, happy Memorial <laughs> Day from everyone here at the Someone You Should Know podcast, from my staff, from Tammy. And uh, thank you again for tuning in on this Memorial Day. We wish everyone a very happy and wonderful Memorial Day 2024.